In recent times, I've been reflecting on the resilience of our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. Not simply at how they have handled the COVID pandemic, despite at times very little government safety net or vaccines. But this as just one of a whole cocktail of crises that have been faced, after, often one after another or even at the same time. Many times when resources are few, what shines through is an assured faith that the Lord Jesus Christ can be relied upon completely. A trust that ultimately God is faithful and will make provision. That ability to to trust, to find hope in Christ, is evident, I, I hope, in much of this session today, and not least in our first video message, which comes from the Reverend Sevat Kavaye, the General Secretary of the Church of Central Africa Presbyterian, Zambia Synod. Greetings with love from Reverend Kawai, the General Secretary of the Church of Central Africa Presbyterian, C.C. Episcopal of Zambia, in the blessed name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a beautiful morning here in Osaka. The sun is shining, the bays are singing, and we are blessed. We wish you a successful General Assembly and trust that God will guide all the deliberations. Zambia as a nation is going through a time of economic hardship. The gap between the rich and the poor is widening. Illiteracy among children is also very high, with 55% of primary two children not being able to read one word of text, as was shown in research done in 2018. This is why early childhood development is key in our nation as well as in our church, as this gives the foundation of children understanding how to read. This last year, in CCP Center of Zambia, we have faced many challenges, but at the same time, I've experienced God's goodness in our everyday lives. Zambia has perhaps not been impacted as badly as other nations with the COVID pandemic. However, it still made changes in the way we live culturally, physically, and spiritually. Schools were closed for long periods, and with many children living in rural areas, modes of communication were difficult, and there was little virtual learning. The results of schools being closed resulted in high cases of child abuse, early marriages, and also increases in the levels of poverty across the nation. Even marriage breakups increased due to couples spending more time together. Many of our congregants died from COVID or COVID-related diseases. As a church, we have tried to address some of these issues we were able to train some of our ministers in counseling for mental health issues so that we could reach out to some people facing severe difficulties in these difficult times. Ministers were sensitized on how to care for themselves, their families and people in their congregations. We have suffered as a church as we were unable to hold meetings virtually, many during due to the poor network across Zambia. Some ministers were able to send sermons and words of encouragement on WhatsApp to their members. But for others, even WhatsApp doesn't work. Numbers of most churches has gone down and spiritual lives were and still are affected. The Synod has had to try and find some money 
to assist our rural pastors with a little stipend during this period to sustain them. The government were busy campaigning as we had presidential elections in August 2021 and were not concerned about the physical well-being of the people. In such a difficult time, many people, including our pastors, depended solely on their small gardens. As church gatherings were closed for some time, one of our pastors preached to some to people as he worked on his garden in rural eastern province. Some of the congregants came to assist him or just came for spiritual encouragement and he talked while he worked. In other areas where we are assisting villagers to dig wells so that villagers can have protected water sources, people would not come together to build a well. So they made a plan that they would come individually and do some work. This, of course, meant that it took longer, but with perseverance, they still managed to get the job done. Despite all the challenges with restrictions around COVID-19, we have had some positive things happening. For example, in Eastern Zambia, we have had a successful program with women implementing sustainable agriculture and nutrition. Education department have built a classroom block at Chasefu CCAP Primary School. Health department have constructed a clinic in a rural area of Eastern Province. And also, a security fence has partly been constructed at our Simon office. Zambia has received a few vaccines. And as a church, we are trying to sensitize our members to get the vaccine if they can. There are many superstitions surrounding the vaccines, including one which says, you will die quickly if you get it. So many people are reluctant to get it. The Minister of Health is trying to procure more vaccines through COVAX system. And we hope that soon Zambia will have a lot of the other population vaccinated. Currently, we have 300,000 people vaccinated out of a population of over 18 million. We will continue to advocate that people get the vaccine if they can. All this has been a big lesson for us as a church. We need to be content with what we have, as Paul says in Philippians 4, 10 to 13. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. We have seen God speaking to us to be content with what we have. It is also a big lesson to the churches and church leaders to be ready in all times, as Jesus told in Matthew 25, verse 13. Climate change is bringing changes in Zambia too. We have had severe floods, a very cold, cold season, and in other areas, God ran for. In some areas, crops and homes were damaged due to floods. High temperatures than normal is causing changes in weather pattern and uncertainty in the planting and harvesting period. The church is now encouraging members to plant trees and be responsible for God's creation. Zambia has a very high rate of deforestation as we use wood for cooking and for making charcoal. Of course, this is detrimental to the environment. But there are no other options in most rural areas. The nation has high hopes with our new president, Mr. Haka in Hland, the seventh Republican president of Zambia. We had peaceful elections and the peaceful handover of power which we praise God for. We anticipate having a good governance system with corruption being a theme of the past. We also look forward to a revival of the economy freedom of worship, as well as peace in our nation to prevail. In all of this, we thank God for his mercies and love that endures forever. He is indeed God who always see us through in all situations. We remain trusting God no matter what, and we continue to pray for peace and unity. We will trust God in being forecast and being relevant to our communities through our Sunday. 
who endeavor to feed the hungry, to give water to the thirsty, to show hospitality to strangers and visit those who are sick and in prison, as we read in Matthew 25. It is joyful when brothers and sisters come together in love and in peace. Psalm 136 shows us how faithful God is. He has seen us through a very difficult time and he will sustain us to the end. We treasure our partnership with PCI and for sending Diane Cusick, the global mission worker, to save as our early childhood coordinator, working with the teachers, children, and the Synod of Zambia at large. It is also a blessing that Reverend Stephen McCracken will be a, a speaker at our spiritual retreat. This was supposed to be held last year, but due to COVID was postponed, and both hopefully will be in the coming year in April with the theme, meeting God afresh. Thank you for allowing me to share a few ways with you. May God bless all in PCI and all attending the General Assembly. Thank you and amen. As we've heard, Paul writes, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Let's pray together. Our Father God, we thank you for the time Reverend Cavalli took to record these words and share directly with us in the midst of all that he is responsible for. And as much as we are humbled by his appreciation of the PCI, we thank you for the partnership in the gospel of the Church of Central Africa Presbyterian and the Synod of Zambia. Lord, we are inspired by how they model that contentedness in you appreciating your goodness in everyday life, counting blessings, seeing you at work through the church and in society. Teach us that contentment too. We resonate with many issues that have affected our church and society as well. And yet for our sisters and brothers in a deeper context of a lack of so many resources that we take for granted. Lord, move us to share in their troubles in meaningful ways. Father, we hold on to that picture of a pastor working in his garden to provide for himself and his family, and yet preaching and giving spiritual encouragement from that very place. May they and we find strength in you to help us bring the good news to bear where you have placed us, with that contentment in all things, and yet that readiness at all times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat>